Ah, uh, what's going on, people? Mad Dog here from Darkstar Entertainment with another video. Thanks for checking it out. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe button for new daily videos that I'm starting to rag out more now. Anyway, just a little small video. Nothing too, too huge. I'll probably crank out another video. Just getting a couple things off my chest and then announce another giveaway. Also, if you're still interested in the Quantum Break giveaway, um, my gamer tag is in the beginning of the video, and I'll also have my gamer tag will be on the screen right here. Send me an Xbox Live message to on why you would like to have Quantum Break. What would you like about Quantum Break and all of that? Um, make sure that you are an Xbox Live member because this contest is only valid for Xbox Live members. And this is for the Windows 10 copy of the game. So it's not for the Xbox One copy. Sorry, I've already pre-ordered that and that's that's mine. <laughs> it's already good to go. But I don't have a Windows 10 PC. Well, I do have a Windows 10 PC, but it cannot run Quantum Break. I don't really use my laptop for gaming at all, really. Except for PSO2. But, um, yeah, my game tag will be the top left corner. Um, let me know why you want the game so bad. What are you looking for on Quantum Break? And I already got a couple people who have messaged me, and I have one person in mind so far that I would like to, you know, give this code to. Also, if you subscribe to the channel and you leave a message, you have a greater chance of winning this copy. And there's one person in mind who's subscribed to my channel and left me an Xbox Live message. He might just win that one. So, anyway, on to this video. Now, I've noticed this kind of trend going on with PlayStation and Xbox fans. Even, well, I can't say Nintendo because I haven't really seen it with them, but whenever, like, say, like, Quantum Break, it's been getting good reviews so far. You know, 8.5, 9, and everything. And I go on different people's YouTube channels, and they're just, like, freaking out bitching. Now, I'm not fanboying here because I love whatever console. You know, I'm not too much of a huge PlayStation fan, but I'm not going to knock on the console. You know, that's not what I do. I'm more on Xbox and Nintendo because this is just what I grew up to. And, you know, whenever PS4 launches a game and doesn't get the high scores, then everyone is just quick to defend them. Oh, it should have got a higher score, blah, blah, blah. Game is still awesome. Now, when a highly, you know, highly acclaimed game like Quantum Break is on the brink of coming out in a couple days prior to this video, people were saying, oh, why didn't this game get a perfect score? Here comes the media bias, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if you check my earlier videos, I have included a link that Eurogamers confirmed that, you know, there is biased media. We all know there's bias against the Xbox because of their launch. We know this. Let's move on from it. Now, when you get, when the game, like, Quantum Break gets, you know, 8.5 or 9 or whatever, so they get like a perfect 10, why do these, like, YouTubers bring up uh, media bias? You know, I, I find it, like, crazy. And then, like, people who will mock or mimic the, you know, the page's creator just because he voices his opinion, he or she voices their opinion on the game or whatever. And their voice, look, this is their channel. Like, this is my channel. Like, I don't give a damn what people say about my channel. You know, and I look on their channel and it's like, people are hating like crazy. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing or whatever. I, I don't know what's going on. But... Like I said, gaming of old used to be really fun because you could be Nintendo, you could be Sony, you could be Microsoft, and you could be a PC player and a handheld player and you still have a shitload of fun. Nowadays, it's resolution this, frame rate that, pixel this, anti-aliasing that. It's a cavalcade of bullshit. I'm, I'm tired of this generation. I really am. And I love the PS3 and 360 era because it was more about what games you want to play. You know, everyone's excited for Halo, Nathan Drake, whatever. Now it's just like, oh, my game is a 1080p. It's instantly a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I got gameplay of Forza going on right now. It's 1080p, 60 frames a second, of course. Yeah, that's, that's great and everything. But you know what? If a game is 900p, I don't give a fuck. Let me play my game, okay? I hate ranting like this crap because it annoys me. Anyway, that's just another little piece. I'm having another video about some actual gaming news. Don't forget, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Gamer tags, top left corner. Tell me why you want the Windows 10 copy of Quantum Break. And when I do receive my code, which is either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll mess that person with the code. Till then, 
Game on.